So right now we are standing in front of another magnificent yantra and this yantra is Lagu Samrat Yantra or the smaller version of the equatorial sundial. And if you look to the east of this yantra, you will see the Brihat Samrat Yantra or the bigger version of the sundial. So how this yantra works? Let's have a close look at its construction details. So basically this yantra comprises of a wedge the hypotenuse of which is pointing exactly to the north celestial pole. And if you notice that there are two wing-like structures attached to this wedge. What are these wing-like structures? They are basically marble quadrants which have the markings of the time on them. And they are mounted parallel to the equator they are mounted on the equatorial plane. So basically this yantra is used to measure the equatorial coordinates of the celestial object in the sky. So how does this work? As the sun rises in the east, it starts casting its shadow on the western half of the, or the western quadrant of this yantra, as we can see right there. And as the time progresses, we notice that the shadow gradually starts shifting downward, 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 downward and finally at the meridian there will not be any shadow for 20 seconds. Why 20 seconds? Because 20 seconds is the accuracy of this instrument. And at post 20 seconds you will again start noticing shadow on the eastern half of this instrument as the sun starts descending the meridian and back towards the western horizon. And another key factor to mention here is that if you notice the hypotenuse of this wedge, it casts an angle. It, the angle it makes with the horizon corresponds to the latitude of this place, which is equal to 26.9 degrees, as you might have heard <laughs> so often. So let's go and take a closer look at how this yantra works in order to get a better picture of its working. So how this works is that we can see that the main segment you can see here written in Devanagari 10 and here you can see 11. So the main segment is comprises of an R and each R segment is further subdivided into four mini segments of 15 minutes each and each 15 minute segment is further subdivided into 15 one minute segments as we can see here and each one minute segment is further subdivided into three mini segments of 20 seconds each. So what is the time right now at Jaipur? As we, if you recollect, it's 10, 15, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. So what is the local time correction we need to add to 1038 to get the Indian standard time? It is 1038 plus 18, which comes to 1056. So Indian standard time right now is 1059. So as we notice the shadow gradually shifts, shifts, shifts and starts to move towards the 12 o'clock segment. That is, as the sun starts moving towards the meridian, we will reach this brief interval corresponding to the accuracy of this instrument, in this case being 20 seconds, where the sun's shadow will not be visible on either of the quadrants, the one on the west where we are sitting right now and on the east, which is to the other side. But after that 20 seconds, the eastern part of the yantra or the eastern marble quadrant again kicks into action so thereby giving us the time readings so right now we are standing on the isle of samrat yantra and why are we standing here to explore another feature of this instrument what feature? It is the feature of measuring the declination angle of a celestial object in the sky. Today we'll be measuring the declination angle of the sun and how it is done. As we can see, there's a set of readings, dark readings marked on the marble slab, which is being indicated by the laser pointer here. We're going to use those readings to check the declination angle of the sun. So let's go closer and explore this a little. So right now we are having a closer look at the scale which is used for determining the declination angle of the sun. 
As you can see, the scale extends all the way from 0, 10 to 20 degrees and each segment of the scale comprises of 1 degree which is divided into 6 segments which translates into 10 arc minutes of mini segments each. Mini segment each. So let's go and see how we measure the declination angle of the sun using this instrument, using the scale. So first I keep my finger pointed on the 0th reading of the scale and I can see the shadow being projected although it's not too sharp but I can still see the shadow being projected on the western marble western wing of this yantra or the marble quadrant and then I slowly move my fingers backward 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 up to the point where the shadow just ceases to appear on the marble quadrant that is the shadow has now shifted and it has moved past the outer edge. So what is the reading I am getting will be the, the degrees that my hand has moved and the reading corresponding to that here would help me measure the declination angle of the sun. So how many degrees my hand has moved so far? It's close to 2 degrees from the 0th reading of the scale. So which means that the declination angle of the sun at 26th of September is close to 2 degrees. So with this we wrap up with this wrap up with this instrument and go ahead to the next one.